Welcome back to Sailing Kulali day six. So, we've got this part in. It's the new seal for the uh, Saab M4 engine. So we're gonna install that today. So basically what I've done is, this is the seal, there's a metal ring inside here, there, and then there's like this metal spring that holds the seal on and then that compresses in. So I've drilled holes and then I've put, um, put self-tapping screws into that steel ring and then all you have to do is pull it out, um, hopefully it comes out pretty easily. So that's your main seal. Um, so the main reason that I pulled the main seal off is I was a bit worried that there was corrosion on the flywheel. It's as if some water got in somehow and was sitting in this bottom section of the flywheel which sits down here somewhere. Um, so I was worried that water went into here and then it would have gone in most likely into the sump but uh, and I noticed some corrosion around the front end of this shaft here but it looks good because inside there where this seal ends there's no corrosion it's just smooth machined shaft which means that very likely no water got inside the engine apart from in onto the flywheel so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up this outer surface with some ivory cloth and then um, put the new seal in. So that's the old seal and that's the new seal. And I know it's pretty important to keep things clean so I'll try and do a better job of that. Right, so you can see there's a little bit of pitting corrosion on the outside of that, but hopefully the seal sits inside that. I've cleaned up and vacuumed up while sanding that. Um, yeah, so that seal should go on pretty well. Hopefully. So this is some of the same oil from the, from the engine, fresh oil. And you want to lubricate it up really well so that we slide in. Same thing in here, just go around. Now we need to somehow get that in evenly. All right, so the big end seals on. See that corrosion there? It's like very minor. I've used ivory paper to get it nice and smooth, but I'm a bit worried that that's going to wear that ring out quickly. So then, so that will be monitored. If there's a lot of leakage coming out of there, 
it probably means that I have to get this shaft probably taken back and then like a, a smaller seal put on. Depends how much you pull off. But that would be another for another time. Um, it's definitely better than the condition of this seal. So pretty happy about that. So this can go back on now. When the starter motor is ready, we're pretty much ready to fire up. All right, so now that the new seal's back in the engine, I'm gonna put the adapter plate back on, the flywheel and the clutch, and then all we're waiting for is a new starter motor to get this thing cranky. So this is high temperature RTV uh, gasket maker. So I'm just going to put a bit of hand steam on the bolt. And the good trick is to put the bolt in the back so you remember this one. So you can see there that an M12 needs about 90 newton meters, but that sounds like a lot for an engine. So I'm going to reduce that down to about, I reckon, 50, and see what that feels like. So that's 60 newton meters. M6. <clears throat> so M6 bolt said that it's about 13 newton meters. So 13 is over there. 13 newton meters. So let's just be careful with this. 
That feels really tight. I'm going to reduce that down to 9.6. Alright, that's it for today. The flywheel, the new main seal is on and the clutch is on. Everything's torqued up. There's a new um, seal between the two parts and all the engines being painted on the bottom end as well. So next week, we're going to put the transmission back on. Hopefully by then we'll have a new starter motor or working starter motor. And then we give this another fire up. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.